know. And I went in small town, and one of the uh, the local employers is uh, the slaughterhouse. And any oh. any any young loser like myself has done a stint at the slaughterhouse <laughs> when they need a job, you know. And I went in, and um, I was squeegee mopping blood into the drains. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oof. So I said to uh, the foreman, I said, listen, I could be of more use to you than this. He said, let me think about it. So I went off, had my break, had my bacon sandwich, came back, and he's like, yep. Yeah, you're right. You're a good kid. I'm going to make you an apprentice slaughterman. I was like, holy fuck. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> and talk about shocking. Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was insane. Insane. And I'm offending all the vegans and animal lovers. I'm an animal lover big time, you know. But uh, it, you're going to make ends meet when you're a kid uh, living in a small town. Yeah, yeah. So how'd you slaughter them? Well, they, 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 they line up single file and eventually... You come into like a little cubicle like this and you're standing above them and as they come in you push a button a door drops down and they're in this confined environment like a big rectangle like a big mm -hmm. cubicle and you're raised up and you have this bell and you touch, touch the head and then doof, you knock it on the head that shoots a bolt and it uh. falls down and falls into the wall and you push a button and the door slides up and the cow rolls down so you run down the steps and as you're running down you grab what's called a piffin rod it's like a eight foot long flexible piece of plastic it's in sterilized liquid you pull that out as you run down and then you put your like knee on belly mm -hmm. you put your knee on the uh, the head of the cow you feel for the hole you just made in the hair then you get the end of the piffin rod you push it into the hole Whoa. you feed it all the way in Jeez. until it's all the way into about this much out the top of the head how long is the rod about eight foot. Eight foot. And you feed it all the way because it goes down the spinal column. So you, you're, you're, pushing... killing all the, you're killing all the nerve endings. Whoa. His eyes are popping out of his head. The thing's fucking kicking like a maniac. You've got your wow. knee on it. You're like, ah! wow. Then you pull that out, put it back in the sterilized thing. You get a chain, put it around the, the rear foot. <laughs> push a button. <laughs> strings it up, pull out your knife. Here to here. <laughs> Guts. Elevated doors like The Shining. Blood everywhere. Next one, run back upstairs. Out, let's go. And if you're not quick, they're like, motherfucker, let's go, come on. Wow. 500 a day. I was such a pussy. I was such a little a bitch. Day. I couldn't do it. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this. I'm going to have nightmares when I go home. I did it for about two weeks. And I'm like, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. See you, buddy. Too disturbing. Way too disturbing. <laughs> and, and, and the people that work there are a little disturbed as well, you know. I would imagine you get a little twisted a couple of years yeah, in the job. Yeah, I mean, I think they were fucking with me because I was a kid. Right. You know, like, because obviously from there, I get, you know, the chainsaw in half. And they start right. looking like meat. Right. You know, they go up and they take a bite. <laughs> yeah, take a bite, Mike. It's an acquired taste, you know. And they would eat it raw? They, they were just doing it to fuck with me. Oh. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Right. Little 16-year-old kid, wet behind the ears. But, uh, yeah. I didn't know that, that they was... stuck a raw. It's a hole in the brain yeah. all the way through the spinal yeah, column. Yeah, That's it's, crazy. It, it's, it's pretty shocking, yeah. I've it's never even shocking. heard of something like that. Yeah, piffin rod. That's what you call it. Wow. I wonder if that's standard practice still today. Because I've never, I've never seen... I've seen some awful PETA slaughterhouse videos. Yeah. Yeah. But... You, you, they it, died it, quick, though. It was it weird. Like they oh, died instantly. Very, very quick, yeah. They get through enough in one day. I couldn't do it now. There's no way I could do it now. As it, when, it, when you're young... You know, yeah. Y your morals change as you get older. Your feelings or your values change. Well, what if do you? It now. What if that was for me? Well, if it was my own source, source, then you source of meat, then the motherfucker's dying. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm not a. Uh, I, I know you're a big hunting guy. I'm not a bit. Well, I've never been hunted in my life. But if you're gonna eat it to live, then 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 good for you. Of course, you know it serves a purpose. Yeah. Well, I I became a hunter because of those videos. Which videos? Those PETA videos of slaughterhouses. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't yeah. want to have any part of that. No, no. Well, well exactly. No, no, no. I, I respect that. I do. I'm not so much into their, well, I detest it, trophy hunting and things yeah. like that. You know, I know that's a... Yeah, no, I'm not into it either. I mean, oh, I, really? I don't understand the desire to hunt something that mm. you're not interested in eating. I yeah, I mean, these rich businessmen flying out to Africa and, yeah. you know, shooting... Elephants. A majestic beast or an elephant yeah. or, or a lion from a distance. Yeah. There's no honor in that. There's no honor in shooting well, a lion even from close up. I yeah, don't but, get but from it. a distance, hiding in the bushes and pulling a fucking trigger. Yeah. You think that makes you a man? 
You know, know. You know? The only way, way, way that makes sense to me is if you're in a part of Africa where lions are consistently killing your livestock and you have to protect your livestock, which is... Yep. Colorado, there's a big issue with mountain lions. And sure. Mountain, and a lot of it, Wyoming. There's a lot of places that have uh, hunting seasons on mountain lions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, I wouldn't say there's hard and fast rules for everything. Right, different right. environments, different situations that yeah. you need. 